Surely all of us have dreamed of having sex with our teacher once, right? This movie is about a beautiful female piano instructor who spends less time teaching piano and more time indulging her students. Every time this guy goes to her house for piano lessons, she drains him emotionally. Her piano teaching style is truly unconventional. Because the student's hands are too stiff, she has him knead her breasts to soften his hands. When the two of them are out and about and the mood strikes, she is ready to pleasure him publicly in a discreet manner. Why is this guy so fortunate? Let's find out together as we watch this movie. Before the movie starts, I must warn you that it contains scenes not suitable for viewers under 18. So please watch discreetly, hee <laughs> hee. The movie begins with a scene of everyone at a bar celebrating Hisu's newly composed song hitting the top trending list. Everyone around is dancing and raising their glasses to congratulate Hisu, but she leaves early, because she is eager to meet her lover to satisfy her craving for his oysters. Drinking to celebrate is fun, but Hisu prefers to have fireworks in her mouth. The next morning, Hisu arrives at the office only to receive bad news. The press is deliberately publishing negative news to tarnish her reputation. Hisu only cares about composing music and making love every day. She often pushes the bad things to her manager, Duk Long, to find a way to solve them for her. When Hisu comes home, she accidentally catches a boy making out with his girlfriend. He touches her sensitive area, causing the girl to get angry and leave. This guy is named Sungho, and he lives in the same building as Hisu. Hisu saw everything earlier but tried to stifle her laughter to save him from embarrassment. Interestingly, Sungho also witnessed Hisu making out with her boyfriend in the elevator yesterday. Sungho is now at the fine arts school. His friend, Chung San, who is as fat as a pig, asks him if he has had sex with his girlfriend yet. Sungho sadly replies that he has only squeezed her breasts, and she wouldn't let him do more, so how could he have had sex? After the bad news about Hisu, their music company has been in a downward spiral. Manager Duk Long has found a way to boost the company by recruiting a beauty queen named Shikapu to sing. Aside from her beautiful appearance, Shikapu sings terribly. Even Hisu feels depressed hearing her voice. Shikapu's singing is so bad that even autotune can't save her voice. But this company is strange, Hisu wants to find a singer who sings well. It's stunning, but they aim to spend minimally. Duk Long says you can't expect to get great results with little money. So they have to accept signing a contract with Shikapu as the singer for the music composed by Hisu. Hisu was stressed thinking about work when an acquaintance came to proposition her for sex. She eagerly accepted without any hesitation. It is evident that Hisu is a promiscuous woman willing to sleep with anyone who asks. On her way home by chance, Hisu saw Sungho alone. She only dared to secretly admire his handsome features from her car. Perhaps Hisu had feelings for Sungho after their first meeting, so when she got home, she had no interest in her boyfriend. Hisu recalled three years ago when she first started composing music. It was her boyfriend who inspired her compositions. But now, after being together for so long, he no longer inspired her. The next day at school, Sungho was playing basketball with friends but wasn't very interested. Sungho's current interest was women's bodies. This is a common mindset for young boys and is completely normal. Back at Hisu's company, Shikapu was still diligently practicing singing. After a while, she and a guy had sex. When Hisu found out, she was furious because they sang terribly and were messing around. The company's finances were unstable. They faced pressure from partners to release music. Hisu was very worried about it. At the same time, Sungho was sitting drinking water when he saw Hisu passing by. Besides producing music, Hisu was also a piano teacher at Sungho School. While she was talking about the piano, she suddenly dropped something. Sunho also saw a part of Hisu's full breast in class. Then she suddenly made provocative actions towards Sunho right in the classroom. Love seems so dreamy, but also fleeting like a dream. It turns out it was all just Sunho's imagination. When the class ended, Sunho and his friend chased after her to ask for her number so they could inquire more about piano lessons. She gave each of them different phone numbers. When the fattest friend called, the number didn't exist. But when Sunho called from home, it went through. Sungho thought for a moment and was sure that teacher Hisu also liked him. It's understandable because Sungho was handsome and Chungsan was as fat as a pig. How could anyone like him? Sungho jumped to conclusions. He rushed to Hisu's house to meet her under the pretext of wanting to learn piano. She agreed to enroll him and didn't mind changing clothes in front of him. Hisu carefully guided Sungho through each basic piano note, which happened to be located on her chest. 
Hisu said his hands were too stiff. Practice squeezing breasts to loosen your hands for piano. I wonder if there's a male piano teacher who can help see Ruka soften her hands instead, huh? Sunho went home and masturbated, fantasizing about Hisu's body. You really fell for her bait. Sunho's girlfriend unexpectedly called him for a movie, but Sunho promptly broke up with her because she was too dull, and he lost interest. The next school day, Sunho talked about getting a hand massage from teacher Hisu. The chubby friend then taught him that with strong women like Hisu, you need to finger the vagina really hard to make her feel it. So when school was over, Sunho waited in front of Hisu's house to learn piano. He immediately carried her to bed because Hisu's body was too enticing. But Hisu refused because he was too rough. Though very lascivious, Hisu preferred teasing. Hisu said she would teach Sunho how to make his partner climax, and so they made love. The next day, Hisu drove to the school to meet Sunho. She took him to the art museum to admire the paintings. Sunho wrapped his arms around Hisu, making her feel flustered. She took him to a cafe and wiped the lamppost, kicked the stone. Feeling sneaky like this stimulates up to 200% you know. When they returned home, Hisu and Sunho decided to date to celebrate their new romance with no mistakes. Thanks to their lovemaking, Hisu's music composition became extremely smooth. Her newly composed piece quickly became a masterpiece in the music industry. Her boyfriend asked Hisu why she spent less time with him lately. She said she was busy making music and then turned away. Sunho's girlfriend also asked why he suddenly broke up. Sunho said because you don't let me make love to you, so I broke up with you. At that moment, Hisu saw Sunho sitting with his girlfriend. Thinking that Sunho still loved the other girl, she became jealous and drove home to call her boyfriend to make love with. Sunho, at home, missed Hisu's body dearly. He rushed to Hisu's house only to see her making love with her boyfriend in front of him. Hisu, upon seeing Sunho, moaned louder to provoke him. Sunho agonized and cried bitterly witnessing his beloved being made love to. As for Hisu, after letting Sunho witness that scene, she felt deeply remorseful. In the following days, Hisu couldn't concentrate on her work. Her performance declined rapidly as she always remembered Sunho's figure. Unable to bear her overwhelming emotions, Hisu took the initiative to find Sunho. She searched everywhere but couldn't find him, then suddenly Sunho showed up at her house. They looked into each other's eyes with burning passion, then they made love passionately. After that lovemaking session, Hisu decided to sell her house and move elsewhere. She did so because she didn't want to affect Sunho's future. If they stayed together, society and everyone else would scrutinize and judge them. Perhaps this is true love, thinking for the one you love. Some time later, Hisu coincidentally saw Sunho with his new girlfriend. Hisu smiled happily because the one she loved had found new happiness. Hisu decided to lock her vagina so that Sunho would be the last person to make love to her. This movie is really great, guys. The love between Hisu and Sunho is not explicitly depicted in the film, but their actions, from making love to searching for each other when they're lost, and even sacrificing for each other's future, truly represent a beautiful love. I suggest watching the video in full screen for the best viewing experience. If you find it enjoyable, don't forget to give us a like to support us. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye bye.